Hello everyone, Kimberly is back to have a new haircut and she wants to let it grow on the left side and uh, short at the right side and she wants a natural color so she will turn for you in the rest of the world and show what she has now. Smash my uh, share. Thank you very much. It's always a start with the protection. What I'm going to do is to make the sides ultra short, uh, make a new line at the front, make a line above the ear because I want to, to have a shape in it and now it don't have a shape because it's growing back and I think it will be sexy again. I start with a little bit of water and you see what a natural fall of the hair is, so that will, that's what I'm going to use. And because she wants to let her hair grow, it all has to grow on top before it, we start at the back and at the sides. So I set out the line to the other side and we'll work this out in a short line. Okay, this side will be ultra short. I worked it up met the side as I set out. And the natural color is a 7 zero. Use my clipper as a comb. Make a soft connection to the front. Take away the small hairs hairs at the front temples. Go my back, way back over the back of her head. On the back, create a soft connection to the upper hair. So I, that's why I use a clipper of a comb technique because then I can add more volume to it and length. So the beneath parts are ultra short, and I work up till I get a line. This is where I find soft connection to the side. And come to the ultra shirt beneath the neckline. Okay, wet the hair. And now I need, now I need a scissor to create a soft line into the longer hair. Because I don't want a hard line on the part where it has to grow back. And even with my big and large Kiona scissor, I can cut ultra short. On a crown, I find a new connection because the line starts being soft there. I 
and make a disconnect to the front and leaving that part longer because otherwise it jumps up and what a jump up I just <laughs> kill with my scissor <laughs> click through that kill with my scissor <laughs> Find my way to the upper hand. And leave that long. Clean the contour for small hairs. This is a Tondeo clipper. Just free the ear. And all the length at the front. Control the ends of the longer parts. And find the connection to the top. In the colors we will go to a light brown and I mix some darker tone into the light brown to create something more strong at the sides. On top with a light brown, so five zero. Put in a deep conditioner this way. Get a better hold on the hair and it makes the hair more strong. Color is from Affinage Infinity. Make it darker at the sides because when the hair is that short, it looks uh, the color looks not so strong. So when I put in a, a deeper color, get a better result afterwards. Come the dark color into the lighter color, so the beneath parts into the upper hair. Close it and get it with heat for 20 minutes and then move back. Okay, we're back after 20 minutes. Uh, what you said, I rinsed out. So I, I put some uh, shampoo on the tower and then I wash the sides, and that takes off the color of the skin. So when the hair is ultra short, you have to beware that otherwise the color stays on the skin. After I put on some Zero Age Gel of Lanza, just dry the hair in a natural form. Don't force anything. See how wonderful the light brown of uh, Affinage takes over from the darker tones that were on it. The re remaining of the dark color was uh, black. Next product I'm using uh, now is a polish of Lanza. I use it an off, off a lot because I love the product because it smells wonderful, it gives a wonderful shine to the hair. It's not too uh, greasy. And you bring out the colors wonderful. And this is Kimberly's uh, Growback hairstyle. She even can show it in Zutphen. <laughs> Best place in Holland to be. Now it's a wonderful place to be because it's an old city. And a lot of old buildings, it is wonderful. Kimberly, you may turn for you and the rest of the world to show the end result. And I hope you are happy with it. Thank you very much.